folks, Jen or Murgriffin here, and I'm going to take a close-up look today at something I've wanted to take a look at for a long time, a Precise Plus P18500. Let's go close. So let's take a look at this P Plus 18500. I did get this used, um, so there's a couple of nicks and scrapes on the bottom in the button area there, but otherwise it's pretty clean. Very nice finished connector on the top there. And a bottom button that pushes it. The little center bit, hard to get with my big fingers, but you can move that little piece up so that the switch locks. There we go. It will actually come all the way out if you push it far to show that it's all mechanical. And it just has those three little indentations so you can push it from one side to the other over the little ball bearing. And that gives you your button lock. And then just, well, if I'm not being fumble figured, it slides right back in. And now, you have to put the battery in from the top end. It's designed for an 18500. Very nice finished sealed mechanical connector there. It is an all mechanical mod. Nice threads. Nice recessed connector. Not much of a drip well, but enough. Just clean threads. It is nice solid metal. There's a little vent hole slots on the side. And then the switch assembly also comes out. Now, that spring is what pushes the button back out again after you press it in. And that is just sitting in there on a little shelf, kind of on the edge. That's the reason you have to put the battery in from the top. Battery won't go past that ridge. Put the spring back in. Put our mechanical switch back on. And let's put an AW18500 inside. And tighten it back up again. And you can see the battery through those vent holes. I've been using it with a stainless steel dual coil cartomizer tank, which I think looks pretty sleek. Um, mod still small enough that uh, fits nicely in hand. So those are the details on the P Plus 18500. Now, I could never bring myself to bite the bullet on Super T Manufacturing's website um, because it's near $200. It's like 180 and as much as I like, I'm not shy of expensive mods. I, I have several GGs with UFSs. I have Darwins. I have Provaries. But you know, they were all 200 or something, or 150 to 230 or something like that. But they all do more than just be a tube mod with a mechanical switch. It seems a little overpriced. Probably is. Um... And I'm basically just going to say that's my opinion. Now, I did get this one secondhand, so it has a couple of scratches on it. But otherwise, it operates fine. Now, the switch is pushing up to make the connection. Which means there needs to be space in there between the battery and the switch when you're not pushing it up. You know, if I have a $150 mod and I have a battery in there, maybe the spring shouldn't be against the switch. The spring should be against the battery so it doesn't when I shake it around because when you have it pushed it doesn't do that because yeah um, I mean otherwise it, the 510 connector is probably one of the nicest ones I've seen the switch really is nice I am not a big bottom switch person but I gotta tell you if you're gonna give me a bottom switch I'd much rather have it be like the Empire where I can just push against it and it's you know op that whole open surface I could even you know push it against my the palm of my hand 
this one is a little touch here and you sort of have to get your pinky up in there or get it to perfectly align with the indentation in the bottom. So you kind of have to rest your finger into that hole or push up with your pinky, which for me is, okay, it's a nitpick, I know, but for me, if I gotta have a bottom switch, I'd rather just be able to, you know, use the whole weight of my hand instead of having to uh, push up with my pinky. For those of us who are getting older and have a little diabetic neuropathy, um, or carpal tunnel from playing too many video games, one or the other, um, you know, I have a little weakness in that outer carpal area of my hand. Um, so pushing up is kind of a pain. Other than that, it works really well. I can't find my cardamizer. It must be one of those days. Um, I've been rocking it with a dual coil cardamizer tank. Looks pretty slick, like I showed. And it works pretty well. Not much to complain about there, um, and, and it's fairly small, so if you like really, really solid metal mechanical tube mods, I mean, it, it is finely manufactured and made, I, I will give them that. Um, I just think they're a little overpriced, you know, for $200, um, I can have a Proberry, which doesn't have an annoying bottom switch. Anyway, that's my two cents on the Precise Plus.